Ezekiel chapter 43, And he causes me to go to the gate, the gate that is looking eastward. And behold, the glory of the God of Israel has come from the way of the east, and his voice is as the noise of many waters, and the earth has shone from his glory. And according to the appearance is the appearance that I saw, as the appearance that I saw in my coming in to destroy the city, and the appearances are as the appearance that I saw at the river Chabar, and I fell on my face. And the glory of Yahweh has come into the house, the way of the gate, whose face is eastward. And the Spirit takes me up and brings me into the inner court, and behold, the glory of Yahweh has filled the house. And I hear one speaking to me from the house, and a man has been standing near me. And he says to me, Son of man, the place of my throne and the place of the soles of my feet, where I dwell in the midst of the sons of Israel for all time. The house of Israel defiles my holy name no longer, they and their kings by their whoredom, and by the carcasses of their kings, their high places, in putting their threshold with my threshold, and their doorpost near my doorpost, and the wall between me and them. And they have defiled my holy name by their abominations that they have done, and I consume them in my anger. Now they put their whoredom far off, and the carcasses of their kings from me, and I have dwelt in their midst for all time. You, son of man, show the house of Israel the house, and they are ashamed of their iniquities, and they have measured the measurement. And since they have been ashamed of all that they have done, the form of the house and its measurement, and its outlets and its inlets, and all its forms and all its statutes, even all its forms and all its laws, cause them to know and write it before their eyes, and they observe all its forms and all its statutes, and have done them. This is the law of the house. On the top of the mountain, all its borders all around, is most holy. Behold, this is the law of the house. And these are the measurements of the altar by cubits. The cubit is a cubit and a handbreadth, and the center is a cubit and the breadth a cubit, and its border on the edge around is one span, and this is the upper part of the altar. And from the center of the ground to the lower border is two cubits, and the breadth one cubit, and from the lesser border to the greater border four cubits, and the breadth of a cubit. And the altar is four cubits, and from the altar and upward are four horns. And the altar is twelve long by twelve broad, square in its four sides. And the border is fourteen long by fourteen broad at its four sides. And the border around it is half a cubit, and the center of it is a cubit around, and its steps are looking eastward. And he says to me, Son of man, thus said Lord Yahweh, these are the statutes of the altar in the day of its being made, to cause a burnt offering to go up on it, and to sprinkle blood on it. And you have given to the priests, the Levites, who are of the seed of Zadok, who are near me, a declaration of Lord Yahweh, to serve me, a calf from the herd, for a sin offering. And you have taken of its blood, and have put it on its four horns, and on the four corners of its border, and on the border all around, and have cleansed it, and purified it. And you have taken the bullock of the sin offering, and burnt it in the appointed place of the house, at the outside of the sanctuary. And on the second day, you bring a kid of the goats near, a perfect one, for a sin offering. And they have cleansed the altar, as they cleansed it for the bullock. In your finishing cleansing, you bring a calf near, a son of the herd, a perfect one, and a ram out of the flock, a perfect one. And you have brought them near before Yahweh, and the priests have cast salt on them, and have caused them to go up, a burnt offering to Yahweh. For seven days you prepare a goat daily for a sin offering, and they also prepare a bullock, a son of the herd, and a ram out of the flock, perfect ones. For seven days they purify the altar, and have cleansed it, and filled their hand. And the days are completed, and it has come to pass on the eighth day, and from now on, the priests prepare your burnt offerings and your peace offerings on the altar, and I have accepted you, a declaration of Lord Yahweh.